All right, jokes from China. Okay, let's do a little backstory here. I love when people write in from other countries. All right? I do. And this is the thing. Even though that I know I'm better than you because I'm an American, (laughs) I still like to hear from you because it gives me an opportunity to pretend that I'm, like, empathetic. Uh, No, I'm kidding. Um, I got some, uh, you know, I've gotten some letters from mainland China, which just blows me away because over here in the United States, old old America here, Thomas Jefferson and all them powdered wig sons of bitches. Um, They make it seem like you guys um, can't listen to anything from over here uh, with your censored Internet, which I have to be honest with you. I don't think it's such a bad idea. You know, I remember before I was thinking, wow, it's fucked up. They don't let them talk to each other and blah, 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 blah. blah. But if you see how batshit crazy some people are going over here, going on the Internet, meeting and talking to other batshit crazy people on the fucking Internet. um, You know, out of all the mistakes I've made, I got to tell you something. One of the best things I ever did is I never really talked to anybody on the Internet. I mean, I'll send out a tweet. That's the closest I come to talking to anybody. You know, but like I've never got gone into a chat room and been like, hey, there, fucko 1976 uh, hashtag, you know, whatever. You know, where you living and like get to know somebody. That's just fucking weird. Um, anyway, so I was just whatever. I got some uh, emails from China. So I was like, you know, if anybody out there in China is listening, I'd love to hear from you. I was talking about all the fucked up things all the fucked up jokes that we've had about people from China and and, and the stuff that we've done in movies and TV, just, you know, offensive shit. So I was like, you can't tell me you guys don't have jokes about Americans. Let me hear some of your jokes from China, making fun of somebody like me uh, over here in America. So here we go. Jokes from China. Hello, Billy Fat Tits. Long time listener, first time mailer. Just heard your podcast. Uh, that asking some jokes about America from China. My name is Han. Solo? My name is Han, and I'm Chinese, and I have some jokes about it. So here we go. When I was in New York, I lived in the most dangerous and dirty place in Manhattan. It was called, it's called Chinatown. I found it, uh, I found it, um, I found Americans are very lazy at naming things. Okay. <laughs> like Chinese live together. They call it Chinatown. Korea goes together, it's called Koreatown. White people go together, it's called brunch. Oh, Jesus. He's doing jokes here. It's very lazy. That kind of thing will never happen if Americans come to Asia. Dude, this guy's literally doing stand-up. Hey, I'll tell you, when I was in New York, I lived in the most dangerous and dirty place. It was called Chinatown, okay? Oh, I'll tell you, it was rough. It was rough down in Chinatown. I found Americans very lazy in naming things. A bunch of Chinese get together, they're called Chinatown. Koreans go to Come together, they call Korea Town. White people come together, it's called brunch. Oh, I'll tell you, that's a beaut. Um, that kind of thing will never happen. Oh, this is this Yakov Smirnov. In America, you call it brunch. In Russia, it's called runny eggs. Um, that kind of thing will never happen if Americans come to Asia. If a group of Americans go, Americans go to Japan and live in Japan, the Japanese wouldn't call it American Town. They just call it a military base. <laughs> Those are some good jokes. That's it. Hope you enjoy it. And love from Shanghai, China. Best wishes, Han Q. How about a round of applause for Han Q writing some respectable stand-up comedy in a second language? Hats off to you. That was fucking, that's some good shit. Feel like Johnny Carson. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. I love it. All right. Han Q has set the bar, Asia. Come on, what is that, 90 billion of you over there? You can't tell me. I want to hear from the Dave Attells and Louis C.K.'s and Dave Chappelle's of China. I want to hear you. I want to start roasting America. I want to, I want to start doing some fucking jokes here. All right? Um, all right. Oh, God. And just when we had hope, just when we were starting to feel better, just when we got some of the great stand-up comedy, greatest stand-up comedy ever heard from mainland China by the great... Keep it going one more time for Han Q, everybody. Dude, I swear to God, if I ever do stand up in Shanghai, if you want to come on in front of me and do five minutes, all right, 
you got the gig. All right, buddy? All right. Just don't get yourself arrested, all right? Hey, I did, I did stand up in mainland China. Oh, I'll tell you, that was a rough one. The opening act did a joke. They ran him over with a tank, okay? 